Hi, this is Gail. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I thought we would recreate the cover of the Hummingbird uh, Stagger Journal. Now, if you recall, in the last video, I did a flip through of this little journal, and then together we started and created a new Stagger Journal to work in together. So, um, remember uh, I used file folder, cut it down, five was the magic number, the first one is uh, five by five, then this one of course is five and a half, then six, six and a half, and this page is seven. And I told you that there might be a way to eliminate having to cover those up, but regardless, when we put down our pages and our embellishments, they really are hidden. Um, and I can show you that real quickly in the completed journal. Um, can't see anything here. Kind of hit it up here because that's where it was. And I'm not seeing even where they were now. So that proves the point, doesn't it? Okay, so let's get started with the cover. Now I did do a few things to prep to save a little bit of time and I'm going to bring it up close for you so you can take a good look. So this cheesecloth just kind of, I had dyed a bunch of cheesecloth. I got a package and then I decided on the colors and I dyed it mostly using like shimmer mist um, those kind of sprays and it went very quickly dried outside super fast so easy peasy um, now I have everything prepared the buttons I even went ahead and put the little threads in because that I take a lot of time with because I'm clumsy and I did go ahead and cut everything down. Um, I did go ahead and distress around the edges of the picture and the layer beneath. I didn't think that was a problem. Most people don't want to look at that, so I thought you would be the same. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do then is to put down this stuff okay and if you don't have a die cut machine with something like this I was even thinking the other day you could even use like a little chicken wire or you know how when you have to patch a hole on your screen you could even use that stuff and maybe spray paint it or just use some acrylic paint and color it to the color that you want um, or you don't even have to put it at all, in all honesty. It's just an embellishment. It's just for fun. So what I thought I would do, and if you're like me, I don't know if you have trouble seeing where the edge is. So I'm going to flip this down over here a little bit. There. Hopefully I can see this edge a little bit better here. I'm going to put this here. So all we really need, instead of wasting a lot of this, all we really need is enough to show at the top and at the bottom. So let me just sort of place it down like that. And then I'm just going to kind of cut around the edge so I can save and use this on yet another project. So just to be safe, I'm going to go in. I don't want to cut it too short and then not have enough. But why waste, right? So I'll save that for another project. Okay, come back here. There we go. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Just to be safe won't cut it too short. I hope everybody uh, has had a great week 
and everybody is doing well health and safety wise. I have had a rather harrowing week actually. I live in Saginaw, Michigan and we had some major flooding going on here and in fact three dams broke at one right after the other not like instantaneously but uh, the first two within a day and then the last one a day later so I went through a lot of watching the news and deciding whether I might have to pack although I felt pretty sure that I lived far enough away from the rivers that I would be safe but when dams start breaking you just never knew where it's all gonna let loose to so that was a little harrowing um, I am fine where we live we're not close enough to the river I did have a friend who got evacuated and thank God amen she um, did not end up with water even in her basement the water stopped right at her yard I mean right at her yard so how wonderful I do have another friend who the water got within a half a mile but as far as I know she didn't even have water in her basement last time I spoke with her another friend lives right on the river but she lives kind of back off the river have not been able to get in touch with her yet so I hope that's not saying that she's uh, had some water damage. I definitely hope not. But there is a lot of devastation in this area. It's very sad. And for people to have to be doing the social distancing while they're in a shelter and everything else is pretty sad. Pretty sad indeed. So enough is enough, right? Okay. So I'm going to bring in my glue papers here. All I do is I pulled out some pages from a Daphne's diary um, and uh, using them to glue on instead of the whole book it takes up a little more room and I am in just if you can imagine this is it's probably about double the space that you see in length and then this is it for pretty much how far I have um, this way it's really just the pullout tray on um, a computer desk. It's actually a computer, oh, I don't know what you would, computer cupboard, cabinet, whatever. So I sit looking at my computer monitor, which is very good size because I have terrible vision. So my son got me the biggest that would fit inside of the cabinet. And then I just pull out a little tray here and that's what I work on when I'm recording for the time being anyhow may change it up later but for right now that's what I have okay so to glue this I am just going to getting a shadow here hmm well let's see I don't feel like I need to glue down every single piece here as I start obsessively gluing down every single piece. I'm just going to dab some here and there. It's going to get stuck down anyways. Um, when the picture goes on, uh, the wallpaper is the first the wallpaper. Um, yeah. That stuff. <laughs> I'm having a real problem talking today. You're just going to have to excuse me. Okay. So, I don't want it sticking out over the edge. Um, so, there's that piece. Doesn't matter about the glue. It's going to clear, dry clear. It does bug me to see it, but oh well. It will dry clear and probably be hidden anyways. And so now that I have glue on my arm, Yes, indeedy, folks. I'm already making a mess. So I'm going to go through here and again, just dab a little glue on. This bottle feels like it's empty. It's so light, but it seems to be putting out enough glue. So I think we're good. OK. 
Okay. I know you can't see me gluing it all here, but there's really nothing to see. I'm just dabbing on the glue. Yes. So. And. Yes, it goes this way. Alrighty then. And I want to bring that over pretty much at the edge. Uh oh, you know how art glitter glue is. Once it sticks, that's all she wrote. You can't move it. So, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am a bit of a perfectionist, though, I will admit. Okay. So, got that on. And we'll take a look. So the next thing I'm going to say is to add the wallpaper print and I did not print out another exactly the same. I thought it might be kind of fun to experiment with a different one. So this also is one of the wallpaper prints from Caroline's Craft Tree. She has two sets of them. They're tremendous in size. You get large full page size and then she prints them off or shrinks them down so that you get this size as well. So I think there are like 36 in each set. It's amazing. Okay, so all I want to do is pretty much just kind of line this up top and bottom and off to the sides. And uh, let's look here. See how much room we need over here in the bottom. We want to have enough so we can put these goodies and leave a little room. So I think we're pretty good there and looks pretty good here. So I'm going to get the glue ready for this. And I already feel sticky on there, so I'm going to flip my papers over and do some gluing. Okay, well, I hope you are having nice weather. Now that the rain has stopped here, we've had beautiful weather. Um, just incredible. And our governor gave us permission to gather in groups of up to 10 as long as we're social distancing. So can't get my hair cut or dyed, but hopefully that will come within the next two weeks after she sees how these changes go. We're still going down in numbers, so that's a positive. And then I'm going to dab this down a little bit because there's quite a bit of glue on there. And then um, we can do retail shopping, but we have to do it by appointment, which I kind of don't really get, to be completely honest. But um, I mean, I understand uh, having small numbers in a store and social distancing. But by appointment, like, do I have to call up Joanne's and go, okay, I need an appointment today to come in and shop around. I mean, all the other, like Walmart and that, what they've been doing is having um, people go in and you can, they have, they limit the number of people in the store at one time, which that makes sense. Okay, really love this wallpaper. Hate to cover it up, but hey. That's the way it is. Let me see if I can get rid of the shadow a little bit better. I don't know. Okay, so I did go ahead and glue this down because this cheesecloth can be kind of a pain when you're trying to glue it. I swear, it just swivels all over the place. Okay, so then that will be our next piece. And now this is just a piece of sort of a cream colored 
cardstock. So let's glue that down next. Well, you know what? Let's go to Fabri-Tac because it is cheesecloth and sometimes with fabric it's a little bit harder to glue and this will save some time. And I can see I'm getting lots of shadows. So let me see. As soon as I get this glued down, I'm going to try to adjust my light again and see if that helps. And I'm just going to center it top to bottom and side to side. And I'm not being, you know, super, does, I'm not being finicky about, oh, it has to be exactly the same length, side to side, whatever, with the cheesecloth. To me, it's kind of hard to do that with cheesecloth anyhow. So let me see. Let me see if I turn the light off. How is that? Let's try that. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> okay, that's better. Let's just do that now. Okay, so the next thing then is this layer. This is a cheesecloth. Uh, my friend Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes used it, and I really liked it, but it's a much, I don't know if you can see, but it's a much finer weave than the other cheesecloth I used, and much finer than what's known as that creepy cloth, which is a real spread apart weave. Um, anyhow, so this is kind of cool. So I want to glue this down in, again, since it's cloth. I think I will use um, the Fabri-Tac here. Fabri-Tac 3-in-1, whatever beacons. goes by a lot of different names, and it used to be the price would be different. I found that the 3-in-1 was cheaper than the Fabri-Tac at one point, but I think now they've caught on, that we've caught on, that the price can be different and I think they all cost the same now. Doggone it. <laughs> so let us see here how that looks. Okay, looks pretty good to me, says the perfectionist. Okay, now the little picture. It's shiny because this is a laser jet copy and something about the toner on the top gives it a little sheen, which I kind of like, but if you don't, I suppose you could gesso it a little bit or maybe try sanding it, but it doesn't bother me. And again, I distress the edges. And let me show you again what I use when I distress. I use the Sepia Ranger Archival Ink, and it's getting a little low, so I'm thinking I did buy some re-inker for it, so I might have to dig that out at some point. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Have I forgotten anything? Let's double check and look at our picture. Nope, I think we're good. And again, I apologize because with this angle, seems like all you're seeing are my hand and shadows, but we're just gluing. Not super important. So we've been having a lot of high school graduations in the area, and it's fun to kind of see all the different and creative ways that schools have come up with for graduations. Um, where my daughter lives, there are something like 563, or large number anyhow, of kids graduating. So next weekend, Theirs is at a drive-in movie theater. And so every kid has a, one car for them and their family. And they have three, three screens there. So they're going to be able to project. It's a pre-recorded, like a little slideshow or video of the kids. Each kid 
one by one and then all of the speeches have been pre-recorded and so that's really kind of cool and up here we're having quite the resurgence with drive-ins and so um, it's like become a thing now to go to the drive-in theater because you can stay in the bed of your truck or sit in your car and watch the movie it's kind of cool i think it's kind of fun okay um that's one of the things they're doing and then of course some of them have tried the traditional with families only a few family members clumped together six feet apart from others in the stands and the kids sitting six feet apart which works great for our, a small graduating class but when you have a huge class like that one I mentioned, that's uh, pretty tough. Okay, so next thing, I'm going to go ahead and put the buttons on. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of Fabri-Tac on the back. Because if that doesn't hold them, nothing will. Yes, and some of the schools are doing like parades where each graduate is in a car. And they drive around the school and the community. Um, my nephew graduated in West Virginia last weekend and at his school they had did it kind of in the outside on the outskirts of the parking lot of the school and all of the students who were graduating could have one carload of people and they um, the, the graduate got to get out of the car go up receive his diploma but he was the only one the only student on the stage and you know the students waiting for their diplomas they only had one or two behind them six feet apart whatever and then speeches were um, pre-recorded and yada yada. So that was kind of cool. That was something different as well. So people are, they're figuring it all out. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we have our buttons on. And next thing, I need to ink my flowers. And it looks like I put on the big light lavender one first then I put on the green and last was the blue and then the butterfly came on top with its little bedazzle okay so let's see if I can do that I think I didn't have the exact same flower for the big one um, but it's close enough and I do want to use a little bit of distressing on these I did not do that prior so I am using as you see my brush and I think it was Mrs. Cog that originally came up with these and you could get them like there were like 10 different sizes or something that all came together for about as much money. It was really cheap for all of them. And so I think all of us hurried out and bought them when we saw how cool they look when you use them, especially for stenciling. It just feathers it out and lets you do it nice and light. Okay, so there's that. trying to just get around the edges and not the whole thing while I'm using these. You can't really tell that, but that's what I'm doing. Just trying to lightly get the edges. This one feels like it's not getting anything. Now yeah, let's see here. There, that's better. They're so fragile. Okay. Now, gluing these 
is a little more difficult. And I much prefer my glitter glue with the smaller nozzle. So let's see. Let's try. Ah, there we got it started. Once I get it started, it's usually pretty good. And then I can just kind of tap, tap, tap and get enough where I need it. Okay, so let's put that one on. If you hadn't had a chance to, be sure to go over and check out the digital kits at Caroline's Craft Tree. They really are beautiful. This little hummingbird kit is just so precious. And of course, I used the smaller version. I think I put two to a page of pretty much every page. And it's beautiful in a larger size as well. And someone else on her design team also used the same kit and made a full-size journal. So you can check that out too. Okay. Here comes the green. And there we go. I am lucky enough. These are all Tim Holtz die cuts if you're wondering. And... Um, I am lucky enough to have, I think, all of his flowers are pretty close to it now. And I do love them. And watching Angela Kerr and Gina Wiseman, both of those two use die cuts a lot. And I really all wasn't all that big on them until I started watching those ladies. And I really liked what they did with them. So, and if you're wondering, I have the Gemini, which holds the size that I have holds a full page embossing folder or whatever, you know, or die cut. I don't think they make super big die cuts. But they do embossing folders. And in fact, today I have been playing with, um, let me put a little on my finger and get underneath there where it's just not sticking down. I've been playing with, I embossed some full pages of different kinds of paper, then took it out and tea dyed it because I'm curious as to whether or not it will tea dye and look beautiful. So we shall see. Or will the embossing fall out when it gets wet? I, I just don't know. I don't know what to expect. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Okay, next thing is the butterfly. I'm gonna distress that a little bit. Now, on the original, use the blue butterfly. But I do have that. Well, actually, this is a lavender. I have the lavender. And they're very pale, so I don't know how well you see them. And I have a pink. Hmm. Pink. Lavender. Kind of like the lavender, I think. So, let's just go around and do a little distressing. Not a lot. Okay. I even thought about making this one just sort of raise up a little bit. Let's do that this time, shall we? rather than making it flat 
I like the dimension more. So just the center there. Okay. Next, we have the bling. So bring this up a little bit for you to see. And how much bling do we need? So probably cut it off right there. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two four right in there. Okie dokie. So just uh, oh no they're not. Sometimes you know they come right off in a whole strip and you get lucky and sometimes like now they're not gonna. So I'm gonna put a string of glue down first yes I am gonna put a string there we go okay can't always see it there we go okay I hate when I have to oops helps if you turn it over the right way too Gail okay there we go there's one There's two. Let's hope we get lucky and they all go down easily. There's, oopsie. Three. And, come on. There we go. Super. Okay, so how did we do? Let's take a look. Yeah, I definitely like that butterfly being a little more dimensional, don't you? Okay. You know, you really can't see that wallpaper behind very much anyways, so I guess it doesn't really matter what color we would have chosen. And let's compare side by side. There's that one and there's that one. They look pretty similar to me. So there you have it. We have our cover done. So next time we get together we will do this these two pages okay so if you're planning on uh, doing them along with me check out these this is one page um, but I had to print two copies because the paper when you do two to a page it's too long and you have to adjust so you can see the that envelope and the card that goes with it need to be printed off and over here I printed two pages of this and again two to a page and this little quote comes with her packet and this is a little journaling card this was just something from my stash so if you have a little flower or whatever and if you want to go ahead and fussy cut the um, right side of that page then you can do that to save time for when we get together again and this is just a little cluster of goodies. So there's some sari, there's some crochet trim, little ribbon, little flower, um, the bulb pen. This one says peace, the charm does. And then this, these, that they remind me of peacocks. I got those from, I want to say AliExpress. So anyhow, that's where we're headed in our next video. And hopefully now that the weather is better and things aren't quite so hectic around here. 
then I will be able to put up the other videos for you more swiftly. So thank you for visiting today, for creating along with me, and um, I hope that you'll come back to see the rest of the tutorials for the Hummingbird Staggered Journal. And I want to thank you for stopping by. Please click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I hope that you'll get out there and have a creative day and have a great week. So take care, stay safe, and stay healthy, please. Alrighty, bye-bye. See you soon.